Hey everybody, welcome back. It's JP with Max TR3 Revival. And uh, we are trying to get some more car work done. It's officially fall. The uh, leaves have changed and uh, cooler weather is here. Been trying to get uh, some parts in. Unfortunately, I wasn't the best at keeping up with everything when uh, the car was taken apart. So, learned a few lessons there. But I think I've officially hit the uh, ratchet reset day. Uh, happy about that. I've got some parts that have come in. And I did have that reamer come in, but it was the wrong size. I did not do my math correctly. <laughs> so got another one on order and I've returned to that one. Cleaning up some bearing surfaces here on my trunnions. I got some new bolts ready to go. And I'm unpacking a few more things. And I looked at my, uh, this is the upper, obviously. Fulcrum, sorry, not trunnion. Trunnion's down there. Uh, so the upper fulcrum. Got it ready to go. I need one more rear shock, which I'm trying to hunt down. Seems they're on kind of back order. Got a couple of the uh, bushes ready to go back in, so I think I'm going to work on that as well this morning. It is a beautiful day. As we can see, the colors out there are all... Uh, Getting to the point where they're going to be dropping all the leaves. Fun stuff. I need to update that list a little. Go from there. Super simple process. Uh, just putting that bush uh, back in the lower A arm in the rear uh, section. And for this one, I'm just uh, using the vise. Well, that's pretty much done. I want a little bit more in the center. That works. So I got the same reveal on both sides. Pretty close. One in, three to go. Not a happy camper. Uh, I realized when I was putting in the uh, bushes on the rear that I needed to press the ones in the front too. Unfortunately, what I did was took the wrong one and had it pressed out. So I pressed out the only one I was able to get in. I'm still left with an arm that needs to have a bush pressed out. And I'm now missing the insert. Cause it was a good one. And obviously that was at a shop and I'm pretty sure it's already toast. Not one of those things you want to have happen, but looks like I'll have to get another one and see if I can't find a way to make that one come out. What are you gonna do? Keep on moving forward. It's kind of encouraging. Some of the parts are coming back together. I'm uh, remembering how it's uh, assembled somewhat. Missing a couple of little things. I got a spacer that needs to go in here for the upper ball joint. Did order the new reamer, so that should be on its way. So a little bit of an unboxing, and uh, just for anybody that's curious and may have to do this themselves, the hand reamer I got's an adjustable one. Obviously, the writing on there will let you know it's from another part of the world. But uh, Amazon had it, so I got it. The size is 15.25 to 17 millimeters, which puts you right in that correct range. Uh, Five-eighths of an inch is 0.633, and when you switch that over to millimeters, it's uh, right in that 15.25 to 17 millimeter range. So we'll uh, pull this out so you can see that it's a, a fit. And obviously when you put this bush in, it's gonna tighten down. Uh, that's why it's got the gap right there. 
So here we go. I'll give you a good look at it. And that, my friends, is what I'm talking about. That's what I needed. And it is the right size. So there we go. I'm probably going to need one more trunnion because the one on this side was pitted pretty bad. But uh, it's coming back together as far as the process. A little bit slow for me. So some of the little things that you got to be thankful for. Um, for me, it was watching somebody else's uh, video and reminding me that I needed to wrap these up before the sandblasting. Got them unwrapped now and they all look real good. I had cleaned them up prior to going to a sandblast, so pleased that uh, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, this being part of the frame, it's not like those are easily removable. And of course this one as well. So a little bit more on uh, the front end is uh, I've got most everything ready to go. I'm gonna take a few of these bolts off that I've uh, located, which I just had sitting elsewhere. And I've got just a kind of a mix up of parts. I know, I think you could either use the Nylox or the slotted, uh, prefer to go back with the original, I think, which was the slotted. What I'm gonna do is just put these in some of Apple rust and then throw a light coat of paint on them. I got the pan out just so I could figure out what was going on in previous video where I showed, I had the bolts uh, sitting straight up, which um, I realized was wrong, so I had to flip them. Got the trunnion just sitting in place. I need to put the stop in. Little things like that. I got one arm I gotta take back to the shop, which I'm gonna do in the next couple days. Get that pressed out, ready to go. I've got a box of parts that uh, just wanna kinda separate out. Also, the last thing that I want to be working on is locating the rest of the parts for the rear end. The rear uh, shackle assembly here. The And I was checking with, the, I think, Chef Tush on this, but I've got the, I've got the rear end mounting kit uh, minus the plate and some of the parts. But if anybody's gone through this, this obviously needs to go on here. But well, mine's not split. It came as a whole piece. So if you've got one that shows how this was split, I mean, is it just a straight cut or, you know, across the center and then, then wrapped? Let me know. I'm trying to figure that out. Get the plates on. Get the rear end located. Get the shackles on. Get these wrapped. So that's the process moving forward. I think I'll just end this video here. I got a couple of days off coming up. See if I can't get some driving done out to the shop. Get those few other parts painted up and ready to go. And then uh, we'll see you on the next one. So, hey, I really appreciate everybody following along and the Patreon folks as well. Uh, and the people that have given me uh, parts. If you got something you need, you let me know. I'll see if I got spares. Uh, love the way the Trump community just shares. So, till next time.